Tanisha was beautiful. She was creative. Each picture on this poster, a memorable moment loved ones shared with Tanisha Deal. Tanisha's family telling KCRA 3 her life was cut short by a terrible tragedy. The pain is just indescribable. We, we, we don't know how to, t to describe it. We're barely handling it. Tanisha was seriously hurt in a hit and run crash in August on this stretch of Garden Highway near Northgate Boulevard. She died on September 16th. Doctors calling her injuries catastrophic. There was no brain activity. Her legs, her hips, her back, her liver, her lungs were all damaged to the point of no repair. Adding to the anguish is that the family believes this could have been avoided. Tanisha, a mother of three, was homeless at the time of the crash and had been struggling with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia for more than a decade. Loved ones blaming the mental health system for letting Tanisha fall through the cracks. That's partly how it, we got here. We knew one day that we would have to answer questions or answer the phone call that would change our life forever. And all we wanted was help. While Tanisha's family says she did get help at some point, they claim there was little to no follow up. Mental health system, y'all dropping the ball. You dropping the ball and you and you and you creating a lot of hurt and pain and death to our loved ones out there that's suffering from these mental illnesses. And I think that they should do more. Officials saying they're doing everything they can, but there are limitations. It is the clients or the person experiencing homelessness. Ultimately, it is their choice. Monica Roca Wyatt, who oversees Sacramento County's behavioral health initiatives for the unhoused, says they're encouraging people in need to seek out resources, especially with their new Homeless Encampment and Response Team, or HART, which meets the unhoused where they are. We have the ability to assess them for our services and link them to the appropriate level of services right there out in the field. And then um, the best part of this team is they don't stop there. They provide brief case management to make sure they go to that first intake appointment. A provider takes over for the continuum of care, but the county follows along for the whole process. No. Sacramento County Behavioral we Health Director Dr. Her. Ryan Quist also says they're ramping up resources from what used to be three walk-in sites. We are now in the middle of implementing our brand new system of care, which actually increases our number of sites to 10 uh, outpatient clinics. A few sites are already open, including this one near the American River and this one in the Natomas area. Many families, including Tanisha's, are also in favor of new legislation that establishes the care court system in California. The controversial program would make it easier for families and first responders to force mentally ill Californians into psychiatric treatment through court-ordered care. She is a mother. She is a daughter. She is a cousin. She is a sister. As they hold on to her memory, Tanisha's loved ones say they will not let her death mean nothing. I'm going to advocate for the homeless and for the mentally ill. And if I got to do it to the day I die. A newfound purpose grown out of grief. <laughs> Reporting in Sacramento, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News. Sacramento County's behavioral health team tells KCRA 3 they're currently growing their new team, adding another seven clinicians to the eight already in the field. For more information about county resources, you can go to KCRA.com.